My name is Yuval Zuberi. I'm a periodontist and uh, I will demonstrate on a model the uh, placement of uh, Osix Plus and Osix Volumax. Uh, the first thing that we do is a mid crestal incision. In most cases, we are going to need some vertical incision, release incisions on the mesial and the distal aspect. I usually start the elevation of the flap with a Kirkland knife. It's a full thickness flap elevation, both on the buccal and the lingual aspect of the ridge. Now we go on to using the uh, periostal elevator and we gently elevate the tissue. I'm going to fully expose the edentulous ridge. The site is now ready for the placement of the uh, O6 plus membrane. So the first thing that we do is we cut the membrane and hydrate it in sterile saline. Dehydration should be for 30 seconds. Once it's fully hydrated, we can trim the membrane to its final size and shape. The lingual aspect should be rounded, as you see here. The round part of the membrane goes into the lingual side. We hold the lingual flap and push the uh, Osix Plus under the lingual tissue. We secure the membrane under the tissue by pushing it gently with a periostal elevator. Once the Osix Plus is secured under the lingual flap, we hold the buccal aspect and place the bone graft underneath the membrane on the buccal side to get the uh, size and shape of the ridge that we are trying to build. Then we place the O6 Plus on the buccal side on the bone graft. The O6 Plus will adhere to the bone and conforms to the uh, size and shape of the bone graft. Once in, sp in place, we take a wet gauze and hold the O6 Plus in place for 10 seconds.